Uh, today we're at Toll Cross International Swimming Centre and we are announcing the first phase of the uh, Scotland Aquatic Team that's been announced. There was two meets uh, for the athletes to qualify in this first phase. The first meet was the Scottish Championships, which was over four days, and then it was backed up by the British Trials, which was over six day meet. Uh, swimmers had to come and compete and they had to set qualifying times. But it is the largest swimming team for Scotland in Commonwealth Games and very much so I think it reflects the standard of swimming across the country. We've seen a massive swell in the numbers of swimmers at the grassroots level and again all the way up through to the performance level. So it's a real reflection of where we are in swimming today in Scotland. Initially I didn't think I was, I was going to be able to do it until a couple of years ago so it means extra that, that, that I've been able to qualify in three events. So you know it's, it's a huge honour and, and I can't wait for it. a year out of uni this year um, to make sure that um, I'm doing everything I can because I'd, I'd hate to go to the games and come away disappointed so I don't want to leave anything to chance I'm going to make sure that I'm, I'm working just I'm going to I'm making sure that I'm, I'm working hard every day I'm, I don't want to I don't, I don't want to be feeling as if I've, I could have done something more. Delhi in 2010 was one of the best experiences of my life um, that really was uh, a watershed moment in my life I mean I just scraped in by um, I think it was less than a tenth of a second I scraped in by. I was a young guy then, 17 years old, um, not entirely sure what I was doing in swimming, but to qualify and represent Scotland was just incredible. Uh, we had a big holding camp beforehand in Qatar, and then the, the couple of weeks we had in the village was incredible. I mean, sharing with uh, Michael Jameson, he was my roommate in the village, and that was, uh, I don't think I've ever said this before, but that was a great experience. The fact that he went and got a silver medal, like, wow, I can do that. I mean, I, I've seen him day in, day in, day out, and I'm not doing much different to what he's doing. So that was, that's helped me since then to um, get to the point where I'm at now, hopefully. Uh, training will be quite intense. Uh, we're looking to improve more speed and quality uh, of technique in the water. Um, and just making sure that I keep, um, make sure I stay injury free and healthy, don't get any illnesses. Um, and just kind of fine tune things up until the summer. Um, I got started into diving because my grandpa, he, we were living out in America in Virginia Beach and he was visiting and we had a pool in our back garden and, and I was diving poolside and by that point we knew we were moving back so he said when I, when I move back I should join the Edinburgh Diving Club and I did. Yeah, he's definitely the main influence, he's sort of the person I idolise myself after and he's been so successful so he's, it's nice to try and sort of build up to that and see what happens to me. My relationship with my grandpa's good, he doesn't give me coaching tips really, it's more if whenever I'm having problems he'll give me little quotes or th type things. But yeah, we've got a good relationship and we talk about loads of things, so we get along really well. That's great to be to be confirmed on, on Team Scotland for the you know Commonwealth Games this summer, it's another little mi milestone on the way. and. Um, you know, this is just another part of the process, really, the, the main goal and performance target lies in the summer and, you know, personally being an ambassador for the Games, it would have made a, a hell of a story if I didn't qualify, so it's, it's nice to have that done and dusted and now I can really focus on improving and, um, you know, training towards the best result we can get in the summer. Well, at the Scottish Trials, I just missed the qualification time. Um, and it was kind of just, I was so close but yet so far so it was it was kind of a little bit demoralising um, but I just thought, I just regrouped myself and just thought I need to find any little thing that I can do to be better for the next week to try and qualify. Um, I was unfortunately suffering with a bit of a back injury so I wasn't quite on the form that I really wanted to be um, but I knew that I had that time in me so I managed to luckily qualify on day one at the British Championship so I was really pleased. Go Scotland! <laughs>